Hey guys, how's it going? Just got the new Canon 6D Mark II. One of the things that has been blowing up the internet lately since this camera's release has been the dynamic range. Even before the camera's release, it was dynamic range. Now that the camera is out, it's still dynamic range. So one of the things that I want to do in this video is I want to go ahead and take the Canon 6D Mark II up against my current camera, which is the 5D Mark III. I want to go ahead and see how it stacks up as far as with the dynamic range and being able to pull up those shadows in Lightroom. So I'm going to go out, take some photos, import those pictures into Lightroom, and see what I can work with. So here we are on location. I'm going to be taking some photos of my wife Mighty in this area here behind me. We've got the highlights and we've got the shadows. The shadows are the ones that we're concerned about that we want to go ahead and recover in Lightroom with the least amount of noise possible. Okay, so I just finished importing these photos from both the Canon 5D Mark III and the Canon 6D Mark II. First ones here are going to be from the Canon 5D Mark III. This image right here was taken at 100 ISO. I'm going to go ahead and expose all the images here by two stops. Here's the first one. As you can see, this was at ISO 100, Canon 5D Mark III, nice and sharp. Not a lot of noise here in the shadows. Everything looks pretty good. I'm going to take a look here now at the Canon 6D Mark III. Again, also taken at ISO 100. I'm going to go ahead and expose that by two stops. Image is nice and sharp. Very little noise in the shadows. Here's the Canon 5D Mark III. We'll also look at that same shadow corner over here. Kind of see the before and after. Canon 5D Mark III. Canon 6D Mark II and ISO 100. Now let's go to ISO 200. Again, we'll take it up by two stops. Image is nice and sharp. Very little noise there, as well as in the shadows. Now let's go to the Canon 6D Mark II. This one's at ISO 200. We'll expose that as well by two stops. We'll go to that same shadow area. Still very little noise. Image is nice and sharp and clean. Same as with the 5D Mark III. Nice and sharp. We'll go up to the next ISO, which is going to be at ISO 400. This is the Canon 5D Mark III. Once again, we'll take it up by two stops. Go down to the shadow area down here again, which is pretty dark to begin with. There's a before and after. You can see that this area is almost completely black in the original image. And this is with two stops of exposure. Now we'll go to the 6D Mark II, also at ISO 400. We'll take this up by two stops as well. And we'll go down again to that same shadow area. Here's that shadow area. Here's the before and the after. We'll go to the next exposure bump, which is going to be ISO 800. Go ahead and take it up by two stops. Go to the same shadow area here on the 5D Mark III. 
starting to see a little bit more noise in here. The image itself is still, still pretty sharp. We'll go to the next one here on the Canon 6D Mark II. And again, we'll take it up by two stops. Again, you can start seeing a little bit of noise down here, even back here as well. There's a 5D Mark III in that same area. Both being about the same, seeing quite a bit of noise back here. Let's go to the next image here. This one's going to be at 1600. Bump it up by two stops. 5D Mark III. This one here is the Canon 6D Mark II. 1600 ISO, we'll take it up as well up by two stops. See some noise starting to develop back here. This is at 1600. Once again, Canon 6D Mark II. This one is at 3200 ISO. You can already see, start seeing some, some grain in here and some noise without the exposure bump. Go ahead and take it up two stops. Now you're really starting to see a lot of that noise. Definitely down here in the shadows. We're going to do the Canon 5D Mark III, also at 3200. This one, the original image, looks a little cleaner at 3200 than the 6D Mark II does without any exposure bump. Let me go ahead and reset this here. So here's 3200 on the Canon 6D Mark II. Here's 3200 on the 5D Mark III. Still seeing a bit of noise. I don't know guys, what do you think? Go ahead and comment down below and let me know which image you think is cleaner, the 6D Mark II or the 5D Mark III. I did one more here on the 6D Mark II. This one was taken at 6400 ISO. This is without any exposure bump. Still a pretty good image. The noise is a very pleasant noise. It's not, it's not very distracting. It's got a nice grain to it. Go ahead and take it up here two stops, just for fun. There's definitely noise, but not a lot of artifact. I don't know guys, I'm, I'm hard pressed as far as which one produces a cleaner image. The 6D Mark II here, or the 5D Mark III. Both of these are 3200 ISO without any exposure bump, straight out of camera, all shot in raw. I don't know, comment below, let me know your thoughts. All right, well, as you can see by the photos here, the Canon 6D Mark II holds up pretty good up to about 6400 ISO. I really haven't pushed it any higher than that. Um, I hope to be able to, to get a little bit more time with it here. Um, once again, I just, I just got it. 
So this is the first time I'm really doing a shoot here with it. I'm not quite sure if it meets the, the, the same quality as far as um, dynamic range wise as the 5D Mark IV. I'm not quite sure it does um, as far as from graphs and from other studies that have been done and reports that have been coming out from other, from other testers. But I rarely shoot over 3200. So the images that I got at 3200 are pretty good. I'm happy with those. All right, guys. Well, thanks again. Thanks for watching. And hope to see you guys back soon.